Hello everyone, in the previous video we learned how to create a scroll bar object. When the button is clicked, the text written in the text box is printed to the console. In this video we will learn how we can add the label object. In this example, the frame, text box and button objects were created in the previous lesson. If you haven't watched the previous lesson, you can watch it from the playlist. I will also add a label object to this project. At the end of the lesson you will understand how to use label objects. So let's start. You can like the video and subscribe to the channel to support me. I will create a label object. I use the label function for this. I am setting its physical property by sending some parameters to the function. You can adjust properties such as text, size, and color. I am doing the bind operation with the grid function. The label object was created according to the specified parameters. I'll run it again by changing the dimensions. You can better understand how it works by changing the parameters sent to the function. The string variable of the label object will not be constant. For this, I create a text variable parameter. I synchronize the parameter with a variable. I need to create a variable using the string var function. For this, I need the entire Tkinter library. I transfer with import. I am creating a variable with the string var function. In the previous lesson, I synchronized the text that we printed with the print function with a variable. I am setting the variable created with string var with the set function. Let's try the application now. I am writing a text to the text box object. In the previous lesson, when I clicked the button, text was being printed on the console screen. Text is now printed on the label object. In this example, we learned how to use the label object. Thanks for watching. You can like the video and subscribe to the channel to support me.